A writer with few works. This is what this writer labeled herself for her fear toward creative writing during her 30 years as a novelist. But her confession, in fact, only shows us her painstaking effort to create better work. This writer's name is O Jong Hee, someone who continually strives to create new possibilities of hope for the alienated individuals in this world. Oh Jung Yi is a leading feminist writer of our period. It is not an exaggeration to say that her novels are a symphony of the most beautiful and sad language that a Korean woman can create. During her 30 years of creative writing, Oh Jung Hee expanded a new map of images of females in literature. In a series of creative work, she rekindles female consciousness and energy of life that was rejected and controlled under the shadow of the patriarchy. In July 2003, good news from Germany flew in. Ho Jung Hee's novel, The Bird, received the 16th Literature Prize in Germany. 이 작품 어떻게 보면 독자들이 추천을 받아서 심사위원들이 심사를 해서 주는 상이라고 그래요. 그러니까 아, 일단은 많이 읽힌다, 읽혔다는 것 그리고 거기 어떤 공감대를 끌어냈다는 것이 어떤 그 국적을 달리해서 혹은 민족을 달리해서 어, 그런 공감대를 끌어냈다는 것이 참 기쁩니다. The Bird was published in 1996. This piece was written from the viewpoint of a 10-year-old girl named Umi, in which the inner descriptions of the characters and the writer's social awareness came together in perfect harmony. These two siblings can only rely on each other. Their daily lives are full of suffering, sorrow, and bitterness. They want to be birds and escape reality, but their pain continues to reside. Instead of being sheltered by their family and the world, they are deserted by them, and Umi has to be imprisoned in cruelty and reproach. She slowly turns into a distorted person, not by her own will, but by others. Umi grows up, but the road she takes is not a straight one. She comes to see the world from a twisted viewpoint. It is the same awkward gaze that we ourselves view abandoned children. And Oh Jung Hee is telling everything um, with the eyes and the mind of this little girl. But this book is no children's book at all. And though um, she is telling all this, uh, she is organizing her language and um, the storylines in such a way as to make her readers looking beyond the storylines and getting what is beneath. That is an insight into a society in transition and to the pride of children. And then uh, uh, an insight on people who are trying not to lose their hope but to master courage to go on with their very, very own life to find a way for them. And that's very special, I think. Her readers are drawn into this piece because Oh Jung Yi describes children that she actually encountered. Oh Jung Yi wrote this novel as a self-reflection on her lack of understanding of children. She wanted to carry out a social message on abandoned children. This is symbolized through a teddy bear in the novel. 
The teacher gives an assignment to the children to take a teddy bear home for a week and treat it like a person. Umi treats the teddy bear just like adults treated her, with harshness and scoldings. She is not able to treat it warmly. At last, just as she herself had felt, she rips out its heart. Thank you. 살아있는 모처럼 이렇게 하면서 어 이제 존중하는 것을 배우게 하고 이런다는 게 사실은 위선이잖아요. The courageous writer Oh Jung Hee honestly expresses her faults. She made her debut at 21, but published only six works during the 30 years of her life as a writer. During that time, however, she continually reflected on what literature is and how novels should be written. Perhaps the main reason that could create such a sensation both in Korea and Germany was her candid behavior and confessions through her novels. Just as she admitted in her novel, The Bird, most of her works are autobiographical and are based on themes from her daily life. As she gets older, she continues to seek the meaning of her female life. Rather than seeing females as opposites of males, she wishes to search and express the essence of womanhood, the mysteries, solitude, and delight of women. 제가 추구하는 것은 여성성이라고 말할 수가 있겠는데 그건 어떤 그제 자신이 여성이고 또 제가 가장 잘 알고 이해한다고 그럴까요? 그리고 가장 저 자신한테 문제가 되는 것들 그런 것들을 쓰다 보니까 자연히 그 소설의 주인공들도 여성이 되고 여성들이 겪는 어떤 문제들 그런 걸 다루게 됐기 때문에 Perhaps that is why all her main characters are females from children of seven years old to the aged who faces death. All of them are growing old with her. She speaks for women from her own perspective, of women who suffer from others, cannot let go of past pain, and bear the world by hopelessly waiting and fantasizing. Her female characters might seem passive, but Oh jung says that she wishes to write about the thirst, desire, solitude, and voices of women who we can meet anywhere on the streets. A woman's will to find their identity without compromising with the values of the world and not giving up on their own personal dreams. This is a message that Oh jung hee truly wishes to convey. There are instances in which a writer's passion and gestures towards something make us shudder. What if that is something that remains on the bottom of a river called life? Oh Jung His novels lead us to a continuation of these questions. In her novels, we can detect her passionate gestures of trying to reach toward the tip of true life.